Welcome to the Crown Hills Tip Kitchen. Today we're going to learn how to portion a chicken. But the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we clean all of our workspaces with antibacterial spray. That's to reduce the levels of bacteria to a very safe environment. So we're going to do that first. The next thing that we're going to need is as we are portioning a chicken and using it on raw meat, we require to use a red chopping board. To match that, we'll also need a red handled knife and we'll also need some scissors and I'll explain why very shortly. So when you get your chicken, um, it will come in a plastic case like this, okay? We can take it off the chicken, we don't actually need that bit now, so I'm going to put that away into the bin. Now the chicken has different portions that we need to remove, okay? And firstly, we're going to start by taking off the legs. Now to do this, what we need to do first is I'm going to keep this, try and keep it at an angle so that you can see. But with the knife, all I'm going to do, just between here, between the main part of the body of the chicken and the leg, I'm just going to make a small incision. That allows me to see kind of what's going on inside. And what I'm looking for is the fat line. Now this is a white line, and that's kind of my cutting line. So it tells me where to cut so that I'm not cutting directly into the bone. But when I do this, the first thing that I need to do is I need to pop the joint out. Now I do this by just turning it and I get the bone out like this. From there, I can then use my knife. I know not to cut directly on the bone, I'm actually cutting on the side of it. So it will cut through quite quickly and very, very simply, like so. And then we have this part. I'm just going to keep this to one side for the moment. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. Again, I'm going to get my knife. I'm just going to make a small incision so I can see what's going on inside there. Again, I'm just going to pop the joint out, like so. And there's the bone, just here. And then that, again, it allow me to cut straight through without, with quite ease, really. Like so. Now, I was talking to you a minute ago just about those fat lines. And as I said to you, it's a white line that just goes directly through this part here. So we've got this part, which is the drumstick, and then we've got the thigh on here. And what I want to do is to detach those two so we've got the separate pieces. Now here you can see, hopefully on the camera, that you've got this fat line here, and it is slightly curved. And that tells me that I need to put the knife directly through that fat line. So I'm going to turn it around, I'm going to get my knife, and I'm just going to cut straight through that line. Like this and it makes it very simple. I'm just going to put those on my tray. I'll do the same with the other one. Again, I'm looking for that white line, that fat line, that's my cutting line. Again, get my knife and just cut straight through that line. I'm going to turn it this way so that you can see. And then it should separate nice and simple. Again, I'm going to keep those on the tray. Now we move on to the wing section, okay? So these are the wings that you buy when you go to obviously a chicken shop or if you go to the supermarket. Now the wings are operated by a ball and socket joint. That's a rounded joint, a bit like your eye socket. Now what you need to do in here is when you get your thumb, I just want you to place it inside and you will feel the roundness inside, so you'll feel where to cut. And I'm gonna try and show you this at an angle. Now for this one with your knife, what a lot of people do wrong is they try and cut into it. We actually need to cut into the chicken rather than flat so that we can get into that joint. So what we do, we keep the knife always away from you, never cut towards you because that's just dangerous. Keep your thumb here and just gently cut into the chicken, okay? And then you can see the joint here, so we can't cut directly into bone, it won't happen, it won't allow you to do that. But what we're then going to do is just cut around the joint, so my knife is always away from me and the weight of the chicken will actually separate like this. Now we don't need to cut this off, this is just the wing and that stays as it is. But I will repeat that on the other side. So again, using my thumb, just find where that circular round joint is, like I said, it feels a bit like your eye socket. Get your knife always away from you, cut into the chicken, so I make sure we miss the joint. And then when you cut round, the weight of the chicken will actually pull it off. And again, that's the wing. Now what we need to do is we need to take off this, this backbone here. Okay, so we need to get rid of the cargo so we don't want any bones on the chicken. Now I spoke to you about fat lines. Now hopefully you can see this here. And you've got this big fat line here. This is where we're going to follow. I find this easier to actually do it with scissors rather than using a knife. 
So I'm going to use some kitchen shears and I'm going to cut along this fat line here. And you're cutting along the skin and you will actually cut through the ribs, which you may hear, all the way to the end of this chicken. And I'm going to repeat on the other side. Again, this fat line, that's what I'm looking for. I'm using the scissors, cut through the ribs and through to the base. And then what I need to do is I actually need to, to break this part off. Okay? And if you get to the point where you're finding it a little bit difficult to get through the bones, you can then transfer through your knife, if you wish, and you can just cut that last part off, like this. Now a lot of people would use this for stock purposes, so you can put that in a pan with some water and you can boil it and you could use that to make a stock. Um, otherwise, if you don't wish to use that part, that would simply be going away because it will bone and we don't need that part. So the next part of this, we then got to take the chicken breasts off. Now this is the bit that's more expensive when you go to the supermarket. So it's always good if you can learn how to do this, it'll be a lot cheaper for you because it's cheaper to buy a whole chicken than it is to buy everything individually. So with this, I'm going to turn it over and you'll see towards the top of here, we've got the breast bone here. What we're going to do is we're going to make a little incision into the bone, okay, which is just a small cut. And that will allow us to break the bone so that the breasts will separate into two. So I'm now going to turn this over. I'm just going to smooth out the skin because we don't want it bunched up so it's moving around. And then with my knife, I'm going to cut straight down the middle. Okay? And you will need to press fairly hard for this, okay? Just to get through that bone. There we go. Okay. And then hopefully it should separate together. You might need to be a bit forceful of this. I'm just going to put that up again. And then you end up with the two chicken breasts, which is your prize if you like, the bit that we're aiming for. The final thing that we need to do is just to remove this little bit of bone here. Now this bit is a bit tricky and this is where some people can go a little bit wrong because we end up taking more flesh off than the actual bone. Now what we do is we turn it so the bone is pointing away from you. And with your knife, we're just going to find where that bone is and we're going to cut this part off, just like this. And again, you might need to maneuver your knife. It might not be a straight cut because not all bones are. Okay. And that bit there, you can see, there's lots of bones which we don't want. Okay. So I'm just going to move that to one side. Now with the chicken breast, we can take the skin off and you just pull it off quite easy to do, like so, we're going to get rid of that, and then you end up with your, your chicken breast here that you can use. I'm going to repeat that on the other side, so again, tilt it away from you, using your knife, we're just going to cut off this part here, which is where all the bones are, again, we might need to cut a few times, you might need to change the angle of your knife, we might need to just do a little bit at a time, just take your time when you're doing it, and we should be able to cut this part off like this, a little wishbone at the top so that will stick it into it here. We don't want that bit so we move that to one side and again turn this over, we can pull the skin off and just get rid of that bit and this can go straight into the bin and again there we have the chicken breast pieces. So to go through them again, they're your key pieces that we wanted, you've got your drumsticks which are here. These are your wings, followed by your two thigh pieces, and that is how you portion a chicken.